kuna mambo mingi ambaye sisi hapa yani Mungu peke yake ndio anatujali maisha yetu hapa hivi tena sisi tuko karibu kupita hiyo maji ndele sijui mtatafuta hata mwingine mtatupea taabu yetu ni mingi hawezi hata hata siku 10 kama inasema hawezi isha sisi tuko marginalized yes Marginalization in Kenya dates back to colonial era, with colonialists establishing a centralized system of governance that served the interests of white minorities who were pursuing economic, social, and political policies and interventions leaving out Africans. Implementation of colonial policies intentionally or inadvertently instigated marginalization in some parts of the country. Some of these interventions include the construction of the Kenya-Uganda Railway built between 1896 and 1901. Many of today's interior towns and ports developed along the railway line junctions and depots during and after the construction of the railway. No effort was made to develop areas away from the railway line. The District Ordinance Act of 1902 created closed districts policy that divided the country into two, cutting off the Northern Frontier District's NFD, which consisted of the current counties of Mandera, Wajir, Marsabit, Garissa, and Isiolo from the rest of the country. The NFD was neglected, leaving it behind and isolated both economically and politically. At independence, sessional paper number 10 of 1965, African Socialism and its application to planning in Kenya was introduced. The policy aimed to address historical inequalities inherited from the colonial government. This did not work, but instead anchored these inequalities by guiding economic development through agroecological zones which led to further reduced investment in areas viewed as having low potential. After the sessional paper, there were other legal and policy frameworks, for example, the Transfer of Functions Act 1969, District Focus for Rural Development Strategy 1983, and Economic Recovery Strategy 2003-2007. They attempted to alleviate poverty and reduce inequalities in resource distribution among regions. However, resource distribution remained skewed and benefited communities with more population or those that had high levels of political representation. The Constitution of Kenya 2010 marked the beginning of a new chapter in Kenya's efforts to address marginalization. The constitution provided recognition and protection of rights of minorities and marginalized communities. The Commission on Revenue Allocation CRA is set up under Article 215 of the constitution as an independent commission. The commission is mandated to draft a policy which we call the marginalization policy in which one, the commission determines who is marginalized and number two, comes up with a criteria for the allocation of the equalization fund to ensure that those areas that are lagging are also given an opportunity or provided with a fund that will ensure they have basic access to services that will bring them as close as possible to a level enjoyed by the rest of the country. CRA is mandated under Article 216, Section 4 to determine, publish, and regularly review a policy that sets out the criteria by which marginalized areas are identified for purposes of sharing revenues from the equalization fund. This article on marginalized areas uh, is a very progressive article. It recognizes the fact that uh, there are parts of Kenya that are, well, have been left behind uh, compared to others, 
and they shall be recognized and receive assistance uh, to come up. The commission only determines who is marginalized and also sets out the criteria for allocating the equalization fund. 0.5% of all revenue collected by the national government each year is paid into the equalization fund. The fund is to provide basic services that include water, roads, health facilities and electricity to marginalized areas in order to bring them to the level generally enjoyed by the rest of the nation as far much as possible. The first policy identifying marginalized areas was published by the Commission in 2013 and was used for a period of three years. We identified uh, the whole county as a unit of the area. Um, so we said that we are just going to specify which counties we consider to be marginalized, 14 of them. But a county is a very, very vast uh, place. There's lots of variations even within a county. And uh, I think we got lots of uh, comments that we need to be much more specific about uh, the county and the area that should be considered within the county. The policy was used to share revenue from the equalization fund to 14 counties identified as marginalized. The period has lapsed and a second policy has been developed. As part of developing the second policy identifying marginalized areas, CRA teams visited marginalized areas. During the visits, teams encountered faces of marginalization and the pain of communities who endure hardships due to lack of basic services. Marginalized areas visited demonstrated the following characteristics. Inadequate access to safe drinking water, poor sanitation, and inadequate health facilities. Furthermore, they had inadequate electricity and roads, as well as low primary and secondary school attendance rates. We worked together with the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics and identified a sub-location as the lowest geographical or administrative unit using access to electricity, access to water, access to health, education attainment in terms of enrollment, compression rates and transition rates to secondary school to come up with a marginalization index. Additionally, the Commission identified minorities. These are people with small population, unique culture and traditional lifestyles. They are also pastoral communities that have suffered relative geographic isolation which hindered them from integrating in the social economic life of Kenya. We selected 10 out of the 30 as a representative sample of the minority groups that we have in, in Kenya for purposes of uh, developing a policy that will talk about ma minority and marginalized people in the country. Consequently, the Commission identified Wata, Makonde, El Molo, and Dorobo Saletia as minority groups deserving specific projects targeted at them to improve their socio-economic conditions. The Constitution guarantees every citizen the right to high standards of health care. Despite the government's efforts to ensure that this is achieved, some areas continue to grapple with inadequate health facilities and low staffing. Watu angaleo wanakuja huko Jebgejir dispensary. Alafu Komol wanakuja hapa, embassies wanakuja hapa. Atuna hospitali nyingine. Shida za hapa ambazo zinatukumba ni kuhusu mambo ya afya. Wamekuja asubuhi wagonjwa kutafuta madaktari lakini saa hii bado hawajaingia. Kwa hivyo tungeomba kama inawezekana serikali iweze kutusaidia na hata kama ni kutupate angalau kituo cha afya. For instance, in Kapedo and Silale in Baringo County, health facilities are few and those available are dilapidated and in dire need of repair so as to improve service delivery to communities. Kita gunung dalam tu pun tu memang nak kerja wasan. Muntah nyeril. 
Residents of Kajiado, Wajir, and Turkana walk long distances to access healthcare. Most of the facilities in these areas are poorly equipped and at times remain closed to the public due to lack of staff. We have one uh, nurse in the church, na kuna msaidizi. Kwa wakati ambayo wameanda kazi za serikali ya kituwa kwa juu, inamanisha siku hiyo dispensa ya nasimama. Tahu kubwa dawa, inakuja lakini, unapewa amoxid syrup ni ya moja, na utaka one year bila kupata dawa. So watoto watu na umea, tunahomba enda nunua, enda umea, kuenda hata mmarti, wana hata kutuna pesa kuenda na mmarti. Kwa kina mama wa minisombua sana, kwa CFC ya lulu, so mimi ndo pereka wao, mbaga pari salwe, wana salia njiani. Tena ni polonzias, kuna mchara sikali ya nipatia ndo ni dumiata yu ya mpereka kwa kuitisha magari. Yu ni matezo. We don't have maternity, so recently we tried to improvise another room which used to be store to deliver our mother for there. The facility is not that big. We see them together because the, the infra infrastructure, we don't have enough room to do them, so that we mix them in that same room. We, uh, we've seen that the MCH is it's working together with the maternity, whereby there is no privacy. In some areas in West Pokot and Kilifi counties, snake bites are common, yet health facilities lack basic anti-venom drugs to treat bites. Unapata ya kwamba, saa hitu kienda feel to tafute wale watuta ambao wame paitiwa na snack ni wengi. Ili apate ilo dawa la antirepistika anaenda mpaka marika. Inajukua dakri bansilinki elfu moja miambili kuenda huko. Kwa piki piki. Lack of sanitation facilities such as latrines was observed as a major risk to human health and the environment. Ile mali tuko sisi hakuna toilet na watu wako njoba sana hawana ile karama ya kujaribu kuchenga hiyo choko. Hasa ngini wanatafutu wanashukua maji, wanana msuni, wanaka nyuma ya miti na wanaweka isule wa hapo. Hapa, hii kijiji cho wakona, sababu ya hapa nuraya. Hata hii mtoto kudogo kudogo hii anayenda tu nakaa hiyo miti. Hata mi hii mama kubwa hii anayenda nakaa hiyo miti. Hata mse yangu anayenda nakaa hiyo miti, halapu anarudi. For many children in marginalized areas, education remains a distant dream due to high levels of poverty, harsh terrain, and weather conditions, and sparse dispersion of schools. Mbele tu kumbusi kama talatini ifi. Sasa ili talatini wote na kusha, na baki mbusi ine tu piki yake. Sasa atujui tutafanya sasa mtu wote wata utashuli ya ni mnagani. Children wake up early to cover long distances to get to school. Watoto anayesamuka, Kitu kama sakumi, wabribe kitu, sakumi na moja, ndio wanasa safari. Many schools have poor infrastructure, lack boarding facilities, and teachers are inadequate. Hiyo katika hiyo shule ya farodoyo sahi. Mba utakuta watoto wamesoma mchano, alafu jionu wanatawa madesk, wanatumia kama malasi. Na wasitia na yetu, ndio nabadanka mimba, wajili anatebeanga kwa mbali. Sasa nakutana na kijana kwa njiani. Na sasa, sisi nasikio shungu. Wajili naona wasita na ingine ya watu ingine, wanaenda mbele. Insecurity and wildlife attacks in some areas also affect school attendance. Ele mutoko njimba kabisa, ajila insecurity. Hiko shule kama tano ene sita ambaye mefungwa kutoka 2015 paka sayi. Tuko na shote ya walimu. Of the 200 teachers, and they were the Fafi, were metoroka 
kutoka Fafi Ulaya Fafi ajili ya insecurity. Wesi waliona hakuna watu wanaishi bandei. Ndio wakakuja wakaanza kutoa mabati wakakatakata hizi mawaya za drija wakaenda naye. Ndio sasa chule imekuwa mbaya hivi. Watoto wakiwa wakati manyata yao wako mbali wanahitaji mali ya kulala ndio tulijenga madomsi ya mabati mbili ya wavulana na ya wasichana. Tulipata shida mingi after every week there must be a cases of snake bites, scorpions. Moreover, cultural practices such as early marriages and pregnancies adversely affect education of the girl child. Niko darasa tatu. Nataka kuwa mwalimu. Ila ichanga wanasema hiyo ni ngombe imesimama. Ndio maana unapata huyo mtoto kuna stages akiwa anaelekea. Wakati akiwa 4 years na tuchanga kidogo anafalishwa akifika 6 kuna ali ya marriage sikifika 10 huyu ni mwanamke ya mtu tulipata mtoto msichana ambaye e, walimpatia mzee na hajawahi soma na ni yatima mzee wa mwaka 60 na msichana mwenyewe ni ya 13 12 years na huyo msichana wakati alikuwa na enda na huyo mzee ali nini mwili wake ilipasuka tukapaleka shule kila mama na profile anaweza kata kuni maka ndio msaidie ule mtoto in areas like hola in tana river and elwak in mandera children spend most of their childhood looking after livestock this detaches them from attending school migration in search of pasture also affects education in these parts of the country most of the time wengine wengi wanataka sana kuamba na watoto wakitafuta lisha kwa mifugo yao. So inakuwa ni ngumu kuambia tena warudi wakae wakiangalia shule peke yao huko mifugo yao ama maisha yao ikiangamia. Water is essential in health, industry, agriculture, energy and domestic use. Yet the total amount of water available in marginalized areas is inadequate. For people who live in marginalized areas, accessing clean drinking water is difficult and challenging. Tunategemea mvua, maji ya mvua. Mvua ikimaliza kunyesha, tunapata shida ya maji. Tunateremka mashimo na tuko mbali. Tunaenda kushota huko mbali shini kabisa. These communities are particularly vulnerable to drought, flooding, pollution and unsafe water due to high salt content. Sisi tulikuwa tangu tutoke tutumie hiki kisima tu. Maji yake ni chumbi. Eh. Sisi tunakunya sisi sasa madara hara kwa hara hara iko. Alafu kuna shida shida tu. Ukitaka kuyupiga chai ya mazua hii ya mkebe wesi piga na ina katikatika. Ukitaka kukorogea mtoto hii maji ya chumbi haifanyi kazi. Maji tambo itao ninabata kutoka kilomita 40 kutoka eneo la mahali itwa Daba City. Inaletwa na watabusa 20 lita moja inauzwa 40 shillings. Na sukari nusu kilo inauzwa 45 shillings. Bei ya maji na bei ya sukari ni sawa. This results in starvation, loss of livestock and waterborne diseases. Sisi wale hatuna mifugo yetu imeisha na tuko ndani ya town sasa hizi. Wanadamu hawezi kula nyazi. Unaona? Sasa sisi bado tuko na ile ile shida tu. Shida ya kiangazi na shida ya wakati ya mvua sisi ni hali moja kwetu. Tunakunywa hii maji na ngombe na inakuta saa nyingine inakuanga na typhoid sana. Wakati inafika kiangazi mpaka maji inaisha kabisa enda hospitali bwana na machako watoto yote bwana hara nakutabika ajili ya unakunya hii maji hii ya nini wanaume ndio wanaingia kwa hiyo water pan wanaoka nayo ukiambia iko shida gani si si chafu lakini hawaruhusu hawa sana waoke ndani wanachamini au wenyewe ndio wako wasafi most of the conditions we see because of the hygiene sanitation diarrhea diseases like now they are cropping up because of water those dams are contaminated they take that water Sometimes they get challenges of getting good water for drinking. 
Women and girls bear heavy burdens in providing water for their families. This interferes with their education. Tuko na shida ya madi wasabi kumbadi. Watoto wako na shida. Nasa situkienda aga. Wanaka hapa ifi na nanja. Wanaka na kiu. Paka tukuji. In some areas, conflicts over water are continually increasing. Tumekua tukipigana na watu wa wa Sonjo ni wajirani yetu wa Tanzania kazi ya maji imelete shida sana ingawa kazi ya malisho iko na watu ni mandugu zetu roads play a critical role in enhancing access to basic services such as health and education as well as movement of goods in most marginalized areas, there is poor road network. Mutu akitoka kabarnet, akiulisa tu, oh, road tu. Siwezi ya na. Wanatembea kilomita tamanina moja na mugu. Hakuna barabara imeingia uko tango. Mtoto wangu nimepotezea kwa hii barabara. Mtoto wangu alikuwa hai ndani ya tumbo. Mama alipokuwa akitoka hospitali. Lakini kisisi kufikia garisa, bibi yangu amepatikana ya kwamba ile kitu ya kweki, ile kidney ya kweka haya. Mkojo imepasuka. Nini melete ni yo gari ya ambulance vile eneruka. In many marginalized areas, rivers flood when it rains, making roads impossible and in some cases, bridges linking them to other areas are washed away, cutting areas off. Na wakatu wa mfua, mtu wakifurika, hiyo nbrift, uwa aipitiki. Kwa hivyo, wakati kama uu liopita wa mitiani, ngari hile likuwe na zungusha mitiani, likuwe na zunguka, this hampers movement of goods and services across regions, thereby affecting provision of services. Siku moja bibi yangu aligonjeka, alikuwa na mimba. Sasa akawa na, akakonjeka mbaka sasa hiyo mimba ikatoka. Sasa kumsafirisha kwa hospitali, ikawa nishia kwa sababu hawezi panda kwa piki piki. Sasa hakuna magari huko. Sasa mpaka tunabeba na mashuka. Shinda ile napata ni kuselewa kwa musigo yangu. Wakati ina, inapakiwa huko saa mbili, inafika hapa saa sita ama saa saba na inakuwa inemiaribika ni kwa sababu ya ndilimenti, sababu ya barabala ni mbaya. Tukua tumenetuwe chakula umaka wakina mama wakanda mengu kilomita kubi maali ngari ambao wawesi kupita. Iyo chakula kamwa kwa huku, sasa ya kafiti. Na yuwa na yuwa ni chakula kila mama haya ni mbaka huku. Na ni mbali kutoka kanu huku. Kwa na mali kuwa ni mearipikia. In some of these areas, vehicles use parts created by people and animals. Iyi hadu yote, njia zote ni za migu. Hakuna njia mekatwa na piki na nini na tinga. Paka kwanzai kule. Paka kwanzai huko. Kutoka kanagoni kule kuja hivi barabara ni mbaya. Kutoka njia hivi barabara. Saa hii ukipita na gari unaumia paka saabu ya kurusha rusha na gari. Ukinyesha atuendi. Hata kula kama una chakula kwa nyumba ni basi. There is an area called Kuboj. It's totally marginal area. Sini sindependent saata wakuna barabara huko. Watu anabewa, mtu wakiwa mkwenjwa huko, anabewa blangeti. Almost 10 kilometers ni upate hiyo barabara kama hiyo barabara hiko na shida. To get a certificate you pay 150 shilling. But a person in Mashuru, a person at Rikelunjiti, will have to, to incur costs not less than 2,000 to go to Kajado and come back. Uh, and maybe you may not even go once because the roads are not good. We have been a lot of people who have been in the country for a long time. We have been in the country for a long time. We have been in the country for a long time. We have been in the country for a long time. We have been in the country for a long time. So, tumepata shida kubwa sana kuhusu barabara. The government has however put efforts in ensuring that these areas are opened up through construction of roads linking them to the rest of the country. In addition, many marginalized areas lack communication utilities such as telephone network connectivity. Ina maana ukisha toka hizo kilomita salasini ama hizo kilomita msinu kisha ingia hapa. Mambo na mawasiliano simu unaweka. Haifanyi kazi, hakuna network. Ipengine uende upande mahali kuko juu, ni upate network. 
I get from my DCC, my boss, report after some time, not the exact time because I'm out of network. I happen to come to network after three, four hours. Access to electricity is a key indicator for improved living standards of communities. Most marginalized areas have low electricity connectivity due to sparse populations and low affordability of potential users. The lack of connectivity continues to affect the day-to-day -day lives of people in marginalized areas. Due to lack of electricity, many health facilities do not store antivenom. Antivenom needs to be refrigerated. This has contributed to many people dying from snake bites. While developing the policy, the Commission adhered to the principles of equity, inclusiveness, and openness in resource distribution and use. Discussions were held with communities from marginalized areas in order to identify priority projects to be implemented. Maji, in this idea, binadamu wenyewe at the same time inasaidia wanyama wenyewe hasa wanyama wakiwa na health una usa moja alafu inakusaidia mali iko na chida kwa hii dunia hiyo mali inaweza mara mara ina mali nyingine inaweza ngara naro huko kwa hivyo ah kuna kitu wako na hawana shule hawana hospitali hakuna network hakuna maji shule juzi ilifika siji class 2 kama hiyo proposal ya shule maji imefanyika barabara tunataka Hospitali. Saidi tunataka wadu. Kwa zaadu kiwa na wadu tutatambulika. Zijie mwezi shule zetu. Hatu itaji nyingine ziongezo. Lakini zile ziko ziboreshwe. Ili tuwe iko na wale wengine. Yetu ya kwanza barabara. Number two. Clinics. Uko ndani ndani. Maji. Na hii kitu ambaye na hitu wa barabara. Na pengine hospitali. Iyo ndiyo tabu sana. Hatu itaki pesa ya kuchesea. Kile tunitaji ni hiyo ni idara tatu. Maji. The Commission has used these priorities in making recommendation that the Equalization Fund be used to improve services in water, health and education sectors with a view to ensuring the well-being of citizens in marginalized areas is improved. The policy has identified 1,424 sublocations, 20% of all sublocations spread across 34 counties and 111 constituencies in Kenya as being the most marginalized. 75% of identified sublocations in the second policy are in the 14 counties identified in the first policy. However, some marginalized sublocations are found in counties such as Kisumu, Kericho and Uwasin Gishu, which are relatively well to do. There is a risk that there will be counties that may be perceived or emerge as prosperous, but in there are deep pockets or marginalized areas or communities that would never show up because the rest of the county is well developed. And a good example for us has been Kajiado. Within Kajiado County, we have very prosperous places. If you think about Kintangela, if you think about uh, Rongai, if you think about Gong, these are places where that are basically well off. But if you remove these areas from Kajiado County, you have deep, deep pockets in Kajiado where you have very marginalized communities. The Commission further recommends that high deserving minority communities be targeted with specific projects and funds specifically set aside for them within marginalized areas where they fall. This will enhance service delivery and improve their socio-economic well-being as envisioned in the Constitution of Kenya.
The Commission has just completed its five-year strategic plan. Our vision is that no Kenyan will be left behind. This is a policy that breathes life to that vision. And if projects are implemented to improve access to education, access to health and access to water, indeed no Kenyan will be left behind. <laughs>